Hello everyone. Welcome to this uh, video abstract uh, presentation on efficient, adaptively secure Byzantine agreement for long messages. Um, my name is Chenda and I'm at NTT Research. And this is joint work with Amai from UC Riverside, Julian from CISPA and Kartik from Duke University. So what is uh, Byzantine Agreement? So Byzantine Agreement is a distributed protocol among a bunch of parties which are connected via some communication network. And basically the setting is uh, each party has their own input. So PI has XI as input and they need to uh, compute an output that satisfies uh, two security guarantees. The first guarantee is called consistency, meaning that all the honest parties output the same value. And the second guarantee is uh, validity, meaning that if all honest parties have the same value as input X, then this should be the, the value that they output. And of course, the thing is that these two security guarantees must hold even when a subset of the parties is corrupted or becomes corrupted during the protocol execution. So when we talk about Byzantine agreement protocols, a main efficiency metric is what we call the communication complexity. <clears throat> the communication complexity is basically the number of bits that honest parties um, have to communicate during the protocol execution. And ideally, it's not hard to think that uh, the, base, the best case scenario is if the communication complexity of the Byzantine agreement is something like n times l, where l is the number of, uh, is, is the input size in bits, and n is the number of parties. So um, if we take the best the most communication uh, efficient protocols that exist uh, nowadays, these are subquadratic communication protocols, uh, starting from the works of Algorand and some follow-ups afterwards. Uh, these protocols achieve um, a communication complexity that looks more like O of poly of kappa n times L, where kappa is some sort of uh, security parameter. So there is an overhead of poly of kappa with respect to the um, ideal communication complexity that we would like to achieve. So these solutions don't quite uh, give us what we want. Uh, but there is another line of works, which is actually like a very traditional line of work starting from the 80s by Turpin and Cohen, which are called uh, extension protocols. And these are protocols that assume like, like a broadcast or, or a Byzantine agreement protocol for, for a short message, and it kind of expands it to a protocol for Byzantine agreement for a long message with L bits. And there is a long line of works uh, in this direction. And the most efficient protocol or the previous most efficient was uh, recently published uh, at DISC by uh, Nayak, uh, Ren, Shi, Vadia, and Xiang, DISC uh, 2020, and their protocol achieves a communication of n times L plus n squared times kappa. This basically means that if the input size is uh, long enough, in particular, if the input size is at least of size kappa times n, linear in the number of parties, then the, the protocol achieves uh, um, optimal communication n times l, right? So in this work, we ask whether we can uh, further improve uh, the communication complexity of the protocols that we have uh, nowadays. And we answer in the affirmative. So our protocol achieves communication n times l plus n times poly of kappa. What does this mean? This means that our protocol is optimal <clears throat> for an input range that is of size poly of kappa. In particular, we can think about the input range as being sublinear in the number of parties. A little bit more uh, formally, what is our main contribution? 
uh, our paper basically says that there are Byzantine agreement protocols that achieve adaptive security. This means that the parties can become corrupted uh, during the protocol execution. Uh, and the communication complexity is an L plus N times poly of kappa, as I said, for L bit inputs, meaning the optimal uh, communication is achieved for very um, for sublinear sized inputs. And we give two protocols, or protocols in two flavors. The first protocol is a, a synchronous protocol that tolerates up to n over two corruptions. And the second is an asynchronous protocol that tolerates up to any fraction, um, up to n over three corruptions. So for more details, uh, I refer you to the ePrint version of the paper or the long talk that will happen uh, at the conference. Thank you very much.